hope you're doing well welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a reading vlog for a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson um and also watching and sort of sort of reviewing maybe or like contrasting against a new tv show um because i really really want to watch it so badly i want to watch it with my mom um but i want to read the book first um and i haven't read it yet i've had it for since last year i think i got this um and um it's about time um i also had the audiobook um which i got through borrow box and my loan is expiring like five days so i want to listen and read i didn't actually do any updates for a good guy's girl to murder uh but i finished this last night um i read it in about four days um and yeah i really i really really enjoy this um I wish I had actually read it earlier and then I could have like been more of the hype of the program and stuff but um yeah this was great um it's a YA book I didn't tell you what it's about but it's following Pippa um Fitzamobi and for her EPQ which is sort of like a so you can do alongside A levels for like I actually know why people do it to be honest. I don't, it's not a replacement, it's just like an, an extra thing. Um, but anyway, for her EPQ, um, she um, wants to re reevaluate and look at the case um, five years ago uh, when the local teenager, Andy Bell, went missing and was presumed dead and murdered by her boyfriend, Sal Singh. And then a few days later, um, he died by suicide and um and everyone sort of like in the town is like oh like it's obviously it's sal like he had like blood in like sort of like in the car and like had, had um her phone on him and um things like that and like his alibi was sort of like retracted um and um his younger brother ravi who still lives in the town like their whole house and like their whole family is sort of like ostracized because of what sal did um and um yeah that's sort of like plague in the area and things um little kilton in buckinghamshire um and um yeah so she's like trying to reevaluate it um it's like third person like chapters but there's also first person sort of like production logs um where she sort of like is like writing out sort of like her like interviews and like what sort of like went down on that day um and it also has like a few other like little things like a map or some things are like emails and messages and stuff like that um it's not like fully mixed media because like it's not like throughout but um there's enough of it that like to make a thing um i did really enjoy that um and yeah it's so like fast placed and like a lot like actually happens in the book um at, at times i'm a little bit like okay pippa come on like you've sort of gone over this a few too many times now we get like what the situation is like what's going through your head and like how like you're confused because like there's a lot you know different ways it can go um but it's not like excessive you know um and um also like some of the things that she maybe gets access to is maybe like you can question it but like it is fiction still and like she sort of has to do that to be able to get to the place that she needs to get to like in knowledge wise um and she's like so like clever as well i think it's like really like fun to have like a main character who you know gets what's going on and sort of like the twist or like the revelations at the same time or just maybe a little bit ahead of the reader um instead of sort of like lagging behind then you're sort of like waiting for them to you know catch up with it um and um it just made it more like enjoyable and sort of like you can just like get more on with it and instead of like thinking like you know or maybe it was this and that or that but like she sort of like gets in you know like okay yeah no me too same yeah um and yeah um they have like a lot of characters in here um they are quite like nuanced as well it was quite a lot to them and um what they add to the story and how it's like it's going along um i really loved ravi he was so like sweet and just yeah um there was like i don't know if i'm the only one reading it but like there seemed like there was a little bit of sort of like romantic feelings in some sense between ravi and pippa um and um like because i read some reviews and no one else has really like picked up on it so maybe it's just me but i don't think so um but um he's going to be 20 and she's 17 and she's a little bit like I don't know but like it's not excessive it's not like goes it doesn't really go anywhere which i was happy about um but yeah he is really 
next week. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I'm not going to say any more about it because, like, spoilers and things. But um, I really enjoy it. So I think I'm going to give this 4.5 star rating. I may probably put it as 5 on Goodreads. Um, and I would so to recommend it. Um, and um, I don't know if I'm going to continue with the series. Possibly, maybe. I don't have any of them at the moment. Um... But yeah, um, I did listen to this audiobook as well, like whilst reading along, and the audiobook is really good. Like, it has like different narrators, and like the way it's all like it, it talks of like about like the interviews and things like that, um, is done really well. Um, so yeah, so now it's time for the show, which I'm super excited about. Um, and um, I will come back to you once I watch it, maybe, or like parts of it, so I don't know. But um, let's go do that, and I shall see you soon. Let's go! Snacks, coffee, program. Hello! Um, so actually the, like, a couple of days ago I finished watching the show. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it was fine. Um, I think for star rating, the show would probably be like a 2.5. Like, it was fine. Um, but I think the problem is, is that I read this straight before watching the show. And this just was done so well I really enjoyed it that I was constantly comparing it to the show when I was watching it and um because of that maybe I wasn't able to fully enjoy it um and like take my mind away from the story and the plot and like how this one actually goes along um um but yeah I'm trying to do this quickly because I want to be able to do any filming properly for like the next like week um and I need to get a video up so this is that video but um anyway um I think yeah the show could have done better with the multimedia sort of aspect of the book and like the interviews as you don't really get that much in the interviews in the show much they're just very short then Pippa and the reader uncovering stuff yourself um but in that it's just like short and then the acting I guess does more of it for you um also like Nat's character is changed in it like how she's related and sort of like quite a big scene um and like the confrontation and stuff from that um and also I think like my main issue is that the way that the book puts the sequence of events and the way you find out so and so and how that leads to this and that is just done so much better and um I think like it leads to these crucial points where you're like okay I get that and you get it at the same time as Pippa um whereas in the show they can't really do that because like I don't know how to explain it but it's just not as clever I guess um and yeah I would recommend it I think it was enjoyable enough um don't read the book straight before though because um you'll just not be able to enjoy it as well as much um it's hard to like say when to read or watch it I would probably say to read first just because if you watch it then the twist will be like told to you and you won't be able to get them like done like properly you know what I mean like it would be spoiled basically um but also if you do watch it first and then come to the book you'll be able to see how much like this does it better um but yeah I don't know um I think it was well acted I think some of the writing was quite cringy it's like a bit like do they really talk like that I don't know um and um also the main character is Pippa like her American accent did come out at some times um uh, especially at the beginning like I was like why is she talking to American I didn't know who she was to be honest um but then after watching Meg's video she does a lot better like, she goes more in depth um uh like uh, with a review of the show um and um she like I understood that she was in Wednesday and she was like the friend of um the main character 
Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot what name was said. Um, but yeah, and now I'm just going to tell you about a few like spoilery parts from the show that I just think sort of like irritated me because I had them all on my phone, but I always film my phone, so I had to like email them to myself. Um, there's not that many, just a few I thought I'd just go through. So, um, so like with changing Nat's character because Nat is meant to be someone that Andy bullies and um, she like leaks her nudes like that sort of like a plot like point sort of like why um, Nat becomes like quite a key suspect um, but she's meant to be the friend of Andy in this case along with Holly or Emily or something I can't remember the other one's name but that was a little bit annoying um, uh, when they're all in the tent they don't all leave so like how can someone put the note in there which was a few things just irked me that's why um a few things like a little bit more like sensitive and she isn't really able to go in as deep i feel in like as she does in the book and that's why the interviews are quite short and you don't really get that much from them because she doesn't have that much like i don't know passion in something i'm not too sure but yeah um the house party like when it's going to be the party and it's all like in these like weird caves and stuff I'm just like really like a high school sort of like secondary school party like I feel like it's much more realistic if it was like a house party sort of like it was in the book and um not just sort of like weird like exclusive events like it just felt a little bit like <laughs> okay um but yeah also after that she leaves the party with her like her friends are still there and like she like learns about like people being spiked and stuff but she just like leaves them like like then she just is like oh sorry the next day or whatever but like, i'm just like i don't know i don't feel like people would do that like like most people i feel like wouldn't they would like care about their friends like make sure like they at least tell them like oh i'm going now um or like oh let's go or something not just like leave without telling them i was like okay um a few things that are just like there's not really that important but like the way like people like found things and stuff um do, 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 do. <laughs> barney's death barney wasn't a golden retriever in the show which kind of annoyed me because i love golden retrievers and i wanted to like see him i was excited to see like who like what the dog was that was portraying barney um they were like another type of breed they were still cute still nice um but then also like barney's death scene probably didn't hit as hard because i mean it hit hard and i was like okay i'm sad also it didn't like pan out the same way um he just sort of like gets taken from the garden when she, uh, pippa like loses him in the forest in the book and um then finds out that he like drowned after and becca accidentally like killed him because she was meant to like let him go but he like fell into the water or something um but the dog's different and like the death scene is different um but yeah i thought like if it was a, if it was a golden i probably would have been more devastated which is i guess bad but like i just love golden so much um and um but like the way they look up like she like in the show they leave it quite late to suspect jason and becca um and i feel like it's, it was done so much better in the book because you knew that becca had been spiked and raped earlier and um then you, and then in the book it's like right near the end you get that information and then pippa's like oh maybe it's her um and also like the pressure that jason put on his children um you don't really like suspect him at all and when like he is one of the main suspects throughout in the book um so that was just a bit annoying like they should have really done that earlier so then you sort of had this undercurrent of like or oh, maybe instead of just like at the end like oh no it was someone that she had like never really ever thought of um and also i think that's some of the one of the best bits of the book is when she's driving back after um elliot's like confession and stuff and she sees like them in the car and then afterwards a little bit later she like looks back on that scene she's like oh wait becca wasn't really looking the same as the parents were she was a bit like scared or something i can't remember what it is or she's like how has this happened more um and um that is when it like clicks for you um also andy 
doesn't seem as bad, I guess, in the show. Like, she's not shown to be, um, like, the bullying scene, um, and, like, the leaking the nudes and stuff. And also, she is not, like, as mean to Becca. Like, um, in the book, like, she goes in hard, like, the thing she says near, the, like, the confrontation scene. Um, and I just felt like that was... A little bit, I don't know. I could like made her a bit more like likable in some sense, and how like they were planning to run away, and um, they was like fully in love till the end and stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess it was just a, it was a change that I think maybe it made Becca's um actions a bit more understandable in the book than in the show. Um, and also there's no like there's no reporter there's no like talking to becca at the, at the the newspaper agency and stuff the reporter i forgot his name uh he's not like in it at all and there's like there's not really any like comment or coverage on like the media and how it portrays victims and like perpetrators um and also like racism which um is picked up in the book about how like it's like oldest like blonde perfect like girl uh being murdered by her brown boyfriend and how like he is like assumed to be the murderer so easily and like the media is like so like hard on him and that like impacts the whole town so quickly um whereas like what is like actually really early in the book and andy um and pippa's like talking with the reporter guy and how like um other cases where it's more like definite that they are the murderer um or the perpetrator of the crime and it's like more weaker because they're white and like it's like showing like his racism and the racism in media and how like they portray certain people as monsters another thing they missed that just was in my head um is when they like go back over the like possible like proceedings of the disappearance slash like murder of Andy and um like they're sort of like trying to retrace like Sal's possible steps and um that bit I think it was done really really well and I really wanted to see that like acted out um so not doing that was quite frustrating and also finally whilst it's in my head um at the end when like she's been so clever like throughout but then she just like eagerly just like drinks up like the drink that becca gives her and is like oh yeah i was quickly you know knock this back and go along with you to the woods or wherever to find where she is um and i'm like but you've been so clever before but now you're just like okay all right go with you you know the murderer well not really the murderer per se but like the allowing to die her <laughs> sort of i don't know um but yeah fan of thought why don't I we know. have anything else for you to say it's really hot i need to go just leave and edit this i need to upload it and um yeah i would so so recommend the book um i might continue the series um i would recommend the show but it's like it's not a must watch um and yeah but yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i shall be seeing you very soon have a nice morning night wherever you are in the world everybody